Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Elven Dragon. So, last time we went and decorated up the raid farm a little bit, putting a wall around it, and then we went and set all of our stuff down, and set off on a little adventure. And here we are, this is where we found, we found this nice little island, it's actually part of an island chain. So we've got a few more islands over that way. Not the jungle, that's actually part of a mainland area. So that's not part of this area that we're going to be working with. But back over there, we have a bunch of different islands that we can work with. And I'm looking forward to playing around with that. But some of you are probably wondering why we have no armor, no nothing, just a stack of fish and a bamboo rack down in the ocean. Well, that's because. I decided I just need to get away from all the farms and the redstone pit and just kind of everything else and all my tangled to-do lists and such and just head back to a bit of simple building. So we're out here on this island with no 200 plus double chests of stone, none of our gathered resources, no fully enchanted tools, just me, stack of fish, and these islands. I don't know how long we're going to be out here, but... My plan is to kind of just work on this one island at a time. But if this ends up being a we just return here every so often thing, we're basically just going to keep this as the tools we have for these islands are going to stay with these islands. The rest of our stuff is going to stay for the rest of the area. And I think that should make for a nice fun little challenge. Anyway, my plan for this is just to work kind of one island at a time and just enjoy going through here and transforming this whole area. So with that, I think it's about time we actually get some tools and stuff and get ourselves a bit of shelter here before it gets too late. So we've got a few trees on this island, not many, which is kind of nice. Kind of annoying too, because we do need a bit of wood, everything, since we have literally nothing, just the stack of fish. Now my wings are in my ender chest, and that's because, well, we can't exactly do this as a normal island survival thing, because well, we've already got the end tub, and I am not destroying that to go fight the dragon again. We specifically set that up and did everything so we didn't have to do that. And it means we can focus on building out here and not really have to worry about having to go find another end portal. So our wings are in our ender chest and so are all of our project boxes. Just because, well, I'm not taking my project boxes out of my ender chest. They are just there as project reminders anyway and don't really serve much purpose other than that. So, at some point we'll eventually get an ender chest. I'm going to hold off on doing that as long as I can, probably basically until I can no longer stand not having wings. But we've got a nice big area here. We got plenty of stone, at least. So let's get ourselves a crafting table. And start getting some of this. I'm thinking maybe up on this hill would be a good place for us to set up camp. I do want to transform this a little bit. It's kind of barren with all the rock. But that's something we can work on a bit later. Let's get a little bit of cobblestone. Get our first pickaxe. Or make two of them apparently. And then we can start kind of looking a bit more around this island. See what we've got. But that's something we can play around with. We got some nice veins of gravel through here that we could play around some copper as well that'll be nice but man we got a lot of stuff here hopefully get enough stuff to keep us going here now we do have the stack of fish that's just so that we have some food while we get set up here because well until we get an actual farm we don't really have a good source of food and i would like to be able to build a little bit without having to really worry too much about having to starve and spend a whole bunch of time just gathering food to keep ourselves alive long enough to be able to build stuff. I'm hoping with these being oaks on this island, we should hopefully get a few decent apples, which should help a little bit. But I don't plan on making that our main source for starting out here. We have the sheep there, we got the cows. I want to get some iron though. We got a cave right here. Let's see what we can find in here. Maybe we can get a little iron. Get ourselves some shears. Ooh. Hey, there we go. Perfect. 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, lovely glitch water. Well, I have to do something about that later. Plenty of coal. I saw some on the beach earlier. That's a nice little area. We may have to do something with that. But it doesn't look like we've got a whole lot of surface iron here. Looks like we got some at the top. Are these? Oh, there's some. That should get a suit too. Perfect. That gets us enough to get pick or at least a pair of shears. Which I think we're going to go for the shears. We kind of need them a little bit more right now. And we'll grab a little bit of coal from the beach. And while we're over here, we might as well grab a little bit of sand. But the sun's going down there, so we should probably find a good place to hole up for the night. Alright, so, spending all night in this cave, we went and just did a bunch of digging out here. Got quite a bit of space dug out here. This might end up being our little mines area. I don't know. Just probably going to see what else we can find around here. Yeah, it's pretty nice for just natural cave. And, well, probably... Good idea to use that. Now, we do have plenty of cobblestone now, which means that we can kind of start marking out our house area a little bit. We kind of just look around here, see what else we can find. A nice pool here. We might have to do something with this. That'll be nice to use. It's not a whole lot up here, which is kind of annoying. Ooh, donkey. All right. Oh, now we have a donkey. That'll be useful for carting some stuff around here. We do need to get ourselves some seeds. We need to start getting ourselves a house. And I think the first thing is we're going to need a furnace. It's iron cooking up. And from there. So I'm going to start kind of laying out where I want to put stuff up here. I'm thinking we're probably just going to kind of flatten a large portion of this and stick our house in up here. Maybe we won't do something too big. I don't know. But I'm going to go get the digging. I'm going to go get ourselves a pair of shears, get ourselves a bed, and get ourselves the start of a nice little house. And then I'll be right back. All right, so I got a little carried away building up the house and came up with this. So we've got a little bit of stone bricks there on the bottom. We've got a light blue wool on the second floor. And as you can see, we're not quite done with the house. But going inside, we have a nice little space here. We get some copper doors. I went and put a small little farm down in the basement here. Just got some wheat for right now, since that's all of the seeds that we have. And again, as you can see, the second floor here is nowhere near completed. But I'm quite enjoying this. We bone mealed our little corn flour because we got some bones from Dead Skeleton. Got ourselves a light blue sheep, which has been quite nice. We've got a blue one scattered about here somewhere. I don't know exactly where it's wandered off. But I did tie up the light blue one so we know where it is. And all in all, it seems to be going great. What do you have? Not that we can buy anything. Cherry saplings, which I would love. But unfortunately, we can't get them in. I can see the cherry that's over there. But no matter, we'll get there eventually. We'll have to get some villagers to get some emeralds. Or maybe find some. But just been slowly kind of building up the second floor here. And, and as you can see, we've got copper doors. I've got a bit of a copper roof here. What I'm thinking is, is originally I was just going to have this be just kind of slabs up top here. What I'm thinking is, oh, there's our blue sheep. What we could do here is kind of turning this into a nice flat roof here, putting some fences up, and going from there. So I'm thinking basically just kind of Putting a beam across here, and then some oak planks in the middle here, probably slabs, just so we can save on chopping down some oak, and then put our oak fences around the sides here. And you saw on the front, I put some oak fences up on the bowl. I've been playing around with that design. I'm thinking maybe some fence gates on the front there. I'm not quite sure. I feel like it needs something on the front until we actually go and play around with it. As you can see, I'm thinking about putting them underneath and around the windows there. I'm not quite sure. So let's see, let's get one of those crafted up. Apparently we only have enough for one, but that should be enough to get a rough idea and get a little bit of what we're going for with this. So there we go, there's our one. 
I don't know. I have to play around with how that looks, see how it looks with more of them in there. But so far, I think we've got a pretty nice start on our little starter house here. And it's not much. It's just got our crafting table, bed, furnace, chest, stone cutter, all the important stuff. We've got a little bit of glass. Looks like we need to get some more for the rest of our windows. And it's been quite nice having all the free copper right there at the start. I'm really enjoying working with it. It's not something I've really done too, too much with before. All right, so I decided to remove the fences and stuff on the front of the house. It just wasn't looking quite right with what I was wanting to do. And I decided that the railing for our rooftop there would work much better as copper trap doors. So if we head inside here, see we still don't have all of the back wall done or the back wall up here done. But just thinking that this area up here is going to be a bit of a rooftop garden. I like the idea of having little plants and stuff up here, plants and pots and everything else. I think that'll be a really nice little touch. Gives us a nice view up here over the rest of the islands and ocean. I love that. And I'm quite happy with how this has turned out. Again, just waiting on more copper to smelt there and for our light blue sheep to regrow its wool, finish that off. But I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Things slowly coming together. I can't wait to see how it looks when the doors and everything else all oxidize. I might keep them at a lower than full oxidation state, depending on how I like that. But in order to keep them there, we need to get some bees. And well, we need to grow more trees. But right now i think that is probably going to be just about it today we've got our starter house set up we have a nice little base and we're just slowly waiting for the materials to finish off here to be grown so i'm gonna go and wait for those to finish up mostly for our light blue sheep over there to grow more wool but i think that is going to be it for today. We definitely need to do a lot of work on the stone sections of this area. Kind of smoothing this out a little bit. Maybe turning some of this into grass and such. Kind of missing. Maybe if one of those islands has spruce. I don't think so, though. I know we've got birch, and that looks like it might be acacia off there in the distance. If we can find some spruce on these islands, although I am kind of liking just kind of sticking on this island for right now, or if we can get some zombie villagers or something. I was thinking maybe some spruce, get some pods all up here would be nice, but that's going to require quite a bit more stuff than what we have right now. But again, I think that's going to be just about it for today. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more of what is going to be going on on this island and in the rest of this world. And I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.